Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about a free-to-play XYZ Festival deck. I know the XYZ Festival is basically over at this point, but I still wanted to talk about this deck. So, first and foremost, it is a Pendulum deck. It is Dynamist, and uh, it's incredibly cheap. Uh, realistically, I would be playing a lot more better Go Second cards. Things like Nibiru, Lightning Storm, Forbidden Droplets, etc, etc. But this is a free-to-play version. So, first and foremost, we have Maxi. This is not a free-to-play card technically, but it should be because everyone should just be given this card because it needs to be in every single deck. It's disgusting. I hate it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Moving on, we have all of our Dynamists. We have the three scales as well as the six scales. The three scales... If another Dynamis card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you could destroy this card instead. The six scales all have this effect. While this card is in your Pendulum Zone, you can negate an activated effect that targets another Dynamis card and destroy this card. Sorry, negate it. Negate an activated effect of a, of, of a card that targets a Dynamis card, destroy it. So, there you go. Makes sense. Threes, sixes, threes protect from destruction, sixes protect from targeting. There you go. Moving on, we have a whole bunch of level 4s, all the way down to this guy. All of these are level 4s. All of these guys are level 5s. So, again, why the 3s and the 6 scales? Makes sense. Your big boss monster is Spinos. Basically, 2500, he's a big booty. Also, on top of that, uh, you can tribute a Dynamis monster to give him one of these effects this turn. Uh, he can attack directly, or he can make a second attack. And these actually do stack, so if you tribute two different monsters, he can attack directly twice, which is very nice. Uh, so, there's that. This is the main win condition. You can also just, like, attack your opponent over and over, uh, and just continue to gain advantage off of Pendulum Summoning. So, there's that. Um, yeah. We also have Dynamis Charge. This card's insane. Basically, you just add a Dynamis, you just search out a Dynamis when it's activated, and if a Dynamis card would go face up in the extra deck, you can add, once per turn, you can add it to the hand instead. That is mandatory, but uh, it's actually really nice because it bypasses the, um, the restriction of summoning monsters from the extra deck. And when you don't have Link Monster, or Link Arrows to Pendulum Summon 2, it is very nice. Uh, moving on, we have Dynamic Power Load. It basically is just an Ancient Gear effect for all of your Dynamists uh, as a field spell. That's why I'm only running one. You probably could play more uh, if you wanted to take out some of the Pendulums, but that would just make your deck a little bit more inconsistent. So you could also cut this entirely. Then we have Dynamist Howling. So this card is the bread and butter of the deck and is probably the best card. You place your Pendulum Zones and then it also has the effect to tribute one of your Dynamist monsters in order to return a card on, on the field. Just, I, I don't know, it's kind of insane. I mean, it is a trap, but it's still insane. So there's that. Um, these, this card could probably be cut. Rex, you don't need it. I know that this is a free to play and you're like, well, there are SR cards, but in all honesty, Howling is incredibly nice. You should probably be playing three, but it's even better uh, or it's even cheaper if you just play two. So as a free to play option, it's very, very easy to make. We also have Godarla and Thunderbird, Danger Thunderbird. The reason for these is, I mean, it's Kaiju, you know, dealing with big boss monsters, it makes sense. And then Thunderbird is sometimes just a free special summon of a 2800 body. But that's mostly it. It's just nice. Uh, yeah. Then we also have some back row removal as well as some effect negation in Mystical Space Typhoon and Forbidden Chalice. Pretty simple. As for the extra deck, I think the only monster that I actually ended up using was this guy, Volcanosaurus. Uh, most of the time I just attack in with my Dynamists, but occasionally... I'll go into a rank 5. This guy's really good. He just targets a face-up monster and destroys it. Uh, and then you inflict um, effect damage. You can also go for things like the Diamond Crab. You can go for Armored Train, Iron Wolf. This guy's really good if you're playing Zeus as well. Because he can attack directly. Which means you can just slap Zeus on top of him. Which is really nice. And then you got Zeus. So play Zeus, you know, if you have him. 
Um, as for the rest of this stuff, like, as you can see, there's a bunch of URs in here. Uh, all of these can be cut. And they're all incredibly easy to get. These come from the structure deck. All of these guys right here. They all come from the new structure deck. Um, and then we have Trios, which is which comes from the event. Uh, you can pull them from the legacy packs from the event. All right, let's hop into the duels and see how this goes. Now, before we go to the duels, did you know that nearly 80% of the people who watch my content are not subscribed? Consider subscribing. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. And... Uh, it really does help me out and allows me to continue making this awesome content for you guys. So, that's all. Let's hop into the duels. Alright, so, uh, here's the first duel. I do want to preface this with, this was prior to me making the free-to-play version. So I am playing Nibiru, and you'll see that here. Uh, but Nibiru is insane in this deck, so if you have it, I would suggest playing it. Uh, because again, when things get tributed off for with, with Pendulums, they go to the extra deck which is really good. Um, here, I Pendulum for three and then go into Steel Swarm Roach because I'm going first. I don't know why I made Steel Swarm Roach. Again, this is not the free-to-play version. Uh, realistically, it would have been better just to sit on the three monsters that I had. Genuinely, that just would have been better. Um, because, of, yeah, that's why. I get Regekied. And then they end the turn. So they must have bricked pretty hard. Anyway, I draw into Nibiru here, uh, so I'm just going to pen summon back this uh, this Spinos, since we don't have the ability to pen summon this Nibiru, and then I get Max Seed, which is hilarious, uh, and then I attack for 25. I don't really have anything that else that I can do, so I just end the turn there. Um, I mean, we do kind of have protection, but we also have Nibiru, which is nice. Um, and here... I draw into Howling. I'm just going to attack again and then set the Howling, and we're doing pretty good. Now, one thing I do want to note is Howling is kind of unique. Uh, if this card is already face up in your Spell or Trap card zone, that's when you can actually target a card and spin it back. So, you don't want to activate it when you need to have it activatable. You want to activate it slightly before, right? So, if like they have an effect that would activate when a monster is summoned, you'd want to activate this prior to the summon of a monster, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, you'll you'll see what I mean in a second. So they're going to modulate the levels and go into an 8. They're going to go for Cypher Dragon, and I am going to then flip up the Dynamist Howling, and then they are going to activate their effect, and now I can activate the actual effect of Howling. So I am going to tribute off my monster and return their card. I'm going to go, no, no, bye-bye. Bye-bye, have a nice day. So there it goes. And if you're counting, that was three summons. This is four. And then guess what? They also have Monster Reborn. This is very funny. But, you know, I'm going to Nibiru them. This is why Nibiru is pretty good. Because my field is empty. Slap down Nibiru. So now they have a 2,000 defense point token and nothing else. Granted, this was, again, played on not the greatest of accounts. So... These are all like gold matches in the XZ Festival, but this is more so a free-to-play challenge, so it makes sense that it's in gold, um, and the players aren't the greatest. So we're going to pen summon back this guy after our Dynamis Charge gets Ash Blossom, and I'm just going to attack in for Lethal. There we go. All right, so here we are going second, which is what we want. We are a go-second deck, and uh, we are playing up against Zodiac. Now, Zodiac is probably the best deck in the XZ format because of the fact that you can make Dryden and Zeus, and it's incredibly consistent. You're also able to play a million hand traps, which just prevents your opponent from playing the game half the time. So, they are going to go for Hammer Kong into uh, Borbo into Dryden. I don't know why they did this the way that they did, but they did. So, I'm going to Kaiju them because it's funny. So, bye bye Get Godarla. I'm going to activate the Dynamis Charge. And then they are going to Droll and Lockbird me, and I go, hmm, okay, maybe I won't activate this Thunderbird, because I do want it to actually resolve and draw me a card. So I'm going to set this Ankylos, and set this Mystical Space Typhoon, and pass. And then they just attack me. I don't know what they have in their hand, but for some reason it doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to add back this Ankylos, which is really nice, because that's extra fodder for my Thunderbird. All right. Here we go. Thunderbird. Oh wait, first I scale the Ankylos because it's the only six that I have. And then I'm gonna activate Thunderbird, which gets Ash Blossom. Uh, 
Uh, and then I activate Thunderbird, and Max C gets pitched. Understandable, have a nice day. Then they draw and Lockbird me, and I go, okay, I don't care. I'm going to then scale. Uh, we are going to pen summon this Spinos out from the hand, and then we are going to attack over the Ghidorla, as well as uh, get in for 25. Not the greatest, but it's doable. We have some protection of our Spino or with our Spinos, as well as we have uh, some some stuff. However, I do have Forbidden Chalice in hand. I forgot to set that, but uh, whoops. They're going to destroy all my monsters, and we're just going to add back that Ceratops off of the charge. Pretty nice. They're going to Desires, draw Ram Ram. Ram Ram, normal summon, go into Hammer Kong. You get the spiel. I'm going to fast forward a bit through this. Maybe? Hello? They go Borbo, attack in for 400, and then they go Zayas. Now, two things I want to know. First of all, we already know that this player is bad. But second of all, this is a three material Zeus. Th three materials. They have more Zeus in there. They have more things that they could put underneath this Zeus. But for some reason, it's only got the one activation. I don't know why, but it's fine. So we're going to special summon out this Ceratops, and then he's going to Zeus. And then I'm going to chain this Chalice that I forgot to set for some reason. Um, and so it doesn't matter that I forgot to set it, because uh, they didn't Zeus during the end phase. They just sat on Zeus. And now here I go into Volcanosaurus. And I'm going to pop their card. And I'm going to deal 3,000. And then I'm going to set Howling. Now, the reason Howling is so very nice is because of the fact that it, again, gets you those Pendulum Scales. That's the most important part, is that it gets you Pendulum Scales. They're going to banish our Spinos. I have no idea why. And then they're going to bring back... Okay, so first of all, of course it's Zoo. They're just clicking buttons. They're just like, I have no idea what's going on. Just click buttons. This is the best deck. Just click buttons. And, mind you, there are so many things that they could have done better here. First of all, they have Monster Reborn. I have a 25 attack point, 2500 attack point monster on the field. Zeus outs that. Zeus has 3000 attack. For some reason they thought, no, no, I'm going to get back the monster that has zero attack and defense. So they get back, Z they get back Dread. And then they have Whiptail in hand that they could have attached to the Dreadent? in order to get an additional pop. They could just pop a card, right? They could pop this Volcanosaurus, okay? Fantastic. That clears the monster off of the field. They could also pop the Ankylos or the Charge if they so feel, right? Um, granted, I could also negate if it, they didn't pop the Ankylos. I could have negated with that. But uh, that's an option they could have had. And then they could have gone and done whatever the frick this is. So they're going to do some things. Uh, they special summon Borbo. And then they go into Tiger Mortar. And then they use Tiger Mortar's effect in order to equip Ram Ram to the Dryden's, who will then proceed to try and pop my charge, which I will then negate, and then just grab back the advantage off of charge. I have no idea what's happening at this point. Oh, that's what's happening. So... It does make a little bit more sense since they are playing the Utopic Future as well as the Utopic Draco Future. So they're just going to attack in over my Volcanosaurus. I'm like, ugh. Okay. <clears throat> they also attack in with Borbo for some reason. I don't know. It was kind of funny. Uh, during the end phase, I'm going to Howling here. I'm going to get two new scales. We're going to grab the Plesios and the Terran. And then during... Uh, or we draw into another Howling, which is kind of funny. I'm going to Normal Summon the Ankleo in order to deal with the Utopic Future. And then we are going to grab back the the uh, Ankleo off of the charge. And then we are going to Pen Summon it and attack in for 1,500. That, that's all the damage I can do. <laughs> this deck is terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for having forced you to witness this. However, they're going to set a card, which is very funny because I have had this MST this entire time. Um, and then, yeah, we just attack in for game. All right, so we're back with the deck. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it takes down Zodiac. If, you know, they um, are really bad and have a stroke or something like that. <laughs> all in all, uh, I think this deck is fine for the XZ event. And since it's free to play, if you were still still haven't quite gotten all of the rewards and or, or just haven't started playing in the XZ event with like one of your accounts or something like that um you could just build this real quick it's very simple it's very easy uh again you don't need rex and it's pretty cheap so 
just make this. You can put in better going second tools and stuff like that. And it's pretty fun. Uh, of course, you're not going to win much in, like, platinum. But I won quite a bit in, uh, in uh, gold. So there's that. There you go. Hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh!, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.